is sort of where within the, 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 those social classes you are. Um, and it depends on what you invest in and, and how you earn your money and whether you can negotiate wage increases. The point is that everything is sort of in flux. Everything's changing. Everything has become more dynamic. And the people that do understand these sorts of problems and do understand that they can negotiate a wage increase based on inflation just to be trading water, um, those sorts of people will, will do better than, than the person who doesn't understand inflation, doesn't understand the fact that these price increases are, are not going to come back down, or that they do need to demand higher wages. This division in society basically now uh, between those who, who understand the problem and who can deal with it and those who can't. Uh, and probably the, the most important idea is to be working in an industry or, or have a job that does adjust for inflation in some way. So good example, pe people who are in unions are gonna be more protected most likely. Uh, people who are in professions that can easily adjust prices are gonna be more, protect more protected more likely. So people who do like dentistry or working at supermarkets and things like that, these companies can adjust their prices quite easily. Somebody who's got a contract that's fixed or, or is earning a wage that's not gonna be raised for, you know, until the end of the year, they're really suffering because they're falling really far behind already. Um, so I guess people just need to be savvy. Um, and that's going to be quite difficult after the last is it 50 years now without high inflation.